Hey y'all, it's Linda. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be talking all about the Sephora VIB sale that starts on April 9th. So there are three tiers of the sale depending on which level of their VIB status you are. If you are a Rouge member, you can start on April 9th and you get 20% off your purchase. If you are a VIB, you start on April 13th and you get 15% off your purchase, which that's me, I'm a VIB. And if you're a Beauty Insider, you can start on April 15th and get 10% off your purchase. So personally, I like to wait until the VIB sale to pick up the more expensive items that maybe I've had my eye on, or even if they're not super expensive, maybe they're things that I just didn't want to pull the trigger on, but then all of a sudden, if I get a discount, they start to look real appealing. Sephora doesn't have sales very often, only a few times a year. So you might find a discount on these separate brands websites, but on Sephora as a whole, they don't do discounts often. So grab them while you can. I'm gonna be giving you a list of everything that I think would be good for you to pick up during the sale, but I'm also gonna tell you what's on my wish list. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna get everything because I don't think I should get everything because holy crap, my list is expensive. But as always, I love when you guys recommend products to me, some things that I never heard of or some things that I didn't think of picking up. So make sure you comment them in the comments below, but let's jump right into my list of what I think you should buy for the sale. Everything is gonna be linked in the description box down below, but also on the screen, I'm gonna tell you the full price and then the price at each of the discount levels. So if it was 20% off, 15 or 10% off. I'm gonna sound like a broken record with this first one, but I cannot recommend these more. The Melt Cream Blush Lights. So these are fairly new. Melt only just came out with these cream versions of some of their powder blushes, but a bunch of new shades as well. I'm a weirdo and I bought the entire collection for myself, okay? But the entire collection is not needed for most normal humans. So I'm gonna tell you about my favorite shades. As of the time I'm filming this, both of these shades are still available on Sephora's website. So my number one favorite shade, which I was not expecting, is Lynx. So you can see Lynx has this beautiful gold bronzy tone to it, and it's what I'm wearing today. I'm not wearing highlighter or anything like that. You just see this bronzy glow. That's all this product. I cannot recommend it enough. I feel like I am going to pan this product, and I don't say that about many things, but I'm going to pan the shit out of this, okay? It is this beautiful, stunning, bronzy glow. These go on like an absolute dream, and I think the price is really reasonable, $22 each, and of course they're gonna be discounted for the sale, but this color I highly recommend. The other color that I absolutely love is Golden Hour. So Golden Hour is that sort of glowy feel, but it, this one is obviously much more peach. This is so lovely. And I have seen this on a variety of skin tones. I've been watching a whole lot of review videos on these and I really, really, really enjoy it. So again, the two colors I recommend are Lynx and Golden Hour. Sticking in sort of that same family of blushes by Melt, I wanna to talk to you about the Digital Dust Duo blushes. These are really, really, really stunning. Now these are a powder formula, they're not a cream, but these are expensive. These are $39 a pop. So if you can get a discount, I highly recommend it. I paid full price for them and I don't regret it for a second, but a discount is always kind of sexy. Here's the thing. At the time I'm filming this, two out of three of these are sold out on Sephora's site. I'm hoping that they restock these before the sale, but I do wanna show you the one that is in stock and it is one of my favorites. I, there's only three and I love them all, but I love this color. This color is Queen B. So this again, it has that bronzy feel. Oh, it matches my sweater. Oh my God, love that for me. The shades are just beautiful and pigmented and bronzy and glowy. Don't pass up this color, okay? So I am of a lighter skin tone, but these colors do work on me. They're not too orangey or too bronzy. They're just beautiful. And look at that little bee imprint. I just love the thought and detail that went into these. So I highly suggest picking these up. Let's move on to foundation. I do have two suggestions for you and they are pretty different from each other. So the very first one is the Urban Decay Hydromaniac Foundation. I don't hear a whole lot of people talk about these and I love these so, so, so much. Now I have two shades because something I always do, okay, tell me if I'm alone on this. Whenever I'm buying foundation for myself, for some reason, I always purchase something that's too light and I don't know why. I'll look at the models and be like, yeah, that's, that's my color, that's my color. And then I get it home and I look like a 
freaking ghost. I bought the next deepest shade and mixing these is kind of my perfect foundation. I am wearing both of these today. This is a lovely dewy creamy foundation. I just adore it, but it's not too dewy. I've used some foundations, Becca Light Shifting Tinted Illuminizer Dewy Skin Finish Pressed Pigment, whatever it's called. That was that was a lot. But these are really fantastic at just looking like a natural glow without looking greasy, without looking heavy. And I think the price is really reasonable. So these are $29 each, which is uh, again, on the higher end. This is not a drugstore priced item, but I do feel like that's reasonable. You are getting 1.1 fluid ounces in these containers and I love the applicator too. The applicator is just a very small little tip. So I just draw these right on my face. I don't have to put them on a palette or on the back of my hand. I really, really enjoy these. The other foundation that I wanna talk about is sort of a one and done. This is Merit the Minimalist Foundation and Concealer Stick. So this is meant to be a foundation and a concealer. And I do find that it does both. This is such a great formula. I can't even open the lid, what's wrong with me? I will just draw this on my face and smooth it out with my fingers. I'll usually tap it in. And then I blend it in nice with a brush just so that there's no weird marks or demarcation, anything like that. But I really feel like not only is this convenient, okay, because imagine just having this in your bag. It is so tiny and it's so good for touch-ups. But what I really love about this is how buildable it is. You can absolutely do a nice, lovely, light coverage with this, but you can build this up to a medium, I'd say a high medium, because this will cover up any blemishes or sunspots or anything like that that I have on my face. It is really fantastic and it's really creamy without being too overly emollient or dewy. So it's somewhere in between a dewy foundation and a skin finish. It's like a satin, I'd say. I really, really love this. Let's stick with Merit Beauty. And the next thing I wanna talk about is the Brow 1980. So this is a brow pomade with a little mascara wand brush. And it is really, really nice. I used it today. What I feel like this is great for, they call it a volumizing pomade and it is. It volumizes your brows. So this makes me feel like I actually have fluffy brows instead of 90s sperm brows, okay? Which is what kind of I actually unfortunately have. This add sort of fibers that really plump up your brows and also it sort of holds them in place too. Now it's not gonna give you like a laminated brow effect, a soap brow effect where it really holds it down to your face, but it's just gonna fluff it up a bit and it really grabs onto the individual hairs, makes them thicker, but also makes them go where you want them to. So I really, really enjoy this. This is one of my new favorite brow products. I love it. Let's see if I can make this next product not look so gross. Well, that looks lovely. If you've watched my channel at all, you've probably seen this product coming or something like it. I wanna tell you to buy the Natasha Denona Bronze Palette, okay? Oh, look, you can see my ring light. That's real cute, but at least you can't see my fingerprints. Yes, you can. I don't understand how this palette has not gotten more love. The shades of bronze and warm tones in here, this is such a summery slash fall palette to me. I'm wearing it on my eyes today. I really love this. I have dug in deep. You can see that there is a dip in every single shade on here because they're all that good. They are so pigmented, like one swipe and you get full, incredibly metallic pigment, if it's a metallic shade, obviously. And even though these palettes are slightly more expensive, this palette is $65. With a discount, it is so worth it. It is so worth it. So if you've never tried Natasha Denona Quality, I highly recommend one of these midi size palettes so you can test it out for yourself. But the bronze palette is one of my absolute favorites. Next, I wanna talk about contour. And this, you all sold me on this, okay? Because I was ready to buy the Fenty Matchstick in Amber and you all said, nay, nay. Nay, nay. So instead I bought the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour Wand and I've never looked back. Okay, look, it's getting down to the nitty gritty and that makes me nervous because this is not a cheap product, okay? This retails for $38. Now, again, at the time of filming this, this color, which is fair medium, was out of stock. Hopefully it will be in stock again when this video is posted, but this makes contouring so damn easy. So you have a little puff ball at the end, which I normally don't like, but what I do like about this is that you can lock this so that product doesn't just keep coming out. I will squeeze out the tiniest, tiniest bit, and that will last me 
I'd say five to six uses. It gives you kind of a more natural contour. I don't know. It's just really, really beautiful, really easy to use, really easy to blend out. So especially if you're a contour newbie, I would suggest this because a powder has the tendency to kind of grab in certain spots of your skin. I feel like this is really easy to blend out and just beginner friendly and advanced friendly. So no matter what stage you are, I feel like this works. And if you can grab it on sale, holy shit, grab it on sale because $38 for a tube. Powder, let's talk about powder. So you don't hear me talk about powder that often on my channel because I don't wear a whole lot of powder on my face. That is until I tried the Kosas Cloud Set Powder. I love this. This is a similar formula to their baked bronzer that they have, and it is a baked formula. So I will say this is a sheer powder. This is not a heavy duty powder. This is not gonna cover a whole lot of imperfections. What I feel like this does is blur your skin to perfection. What it also does is it takes away like that oily look, but doesn't take away any of the shine. So if you're wearing a dewy foundation, your foundation's still gonna look dewy. But if you have, for example, a forehead that looks like an Exxon truck just dumped all of their load on it, this will help you get rid of that. I was gonna say I feel very attacked, but I just attacked myself. The shade that I use is Breezy. I just really, really, really enjoy this for a nice light coverage. I enjoyed it all throughout winter and I think I'm really gonna enjoy it throughout summer because it's just so light and comfortable and it doesn't look powdery at all. I said that with such determination. All right, I have two pieces of skincare to recommend. The first one is a face cleanser. Stop the presses, okay? I have said in the past that with face cleansers, I never notice a difference between one or another because that just doesn't matter to me. I mean, it's just a face cleanser, right? I'll see people on YouTube swearing by this face cleanser or that face cleanser, and I'm like, bitch, it's just soap. I was wrong, okay? I was wrong. I was wrong. I'm gonna put it on the screen. I was wrong. This damn face cleanser, okay? This damn face cleanser. So this is the Youth to the People Kale and Green Tea Spinach and Vitamin Superfood Cleanser. This is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. So what I love about this is that it doesn't foam up too much. So you don't feel like it's stripping the moisture out of your skin, but I genuinely feel like my skin is clean and hydrated after. That is my biggest issue with face cleansers is I feel like so many of them, they strip the oils from your skin so thoroughly that your face is feeling like tight and dry, like a wrinkled butthole, but this, this does not leave you feeling like a wrinkled butthole. This leaves you feeling, again, just clean and hydrated. Plus, I mean, I'm sorry, but the aesthetic of this company, I don't know why I love these bottles. I feel like they just look classy and it is a, glass bottle and I love that it has a pump and this pump also lets you pump out like a little bit so you don't have to pump a full pump. I just, I really, really, really enjoy this and to be honest, that is the first time I've ever said that about a cleanser, literally ever, that I love, love this one. So I will be repurchasing this myself. This retails for $36, which seems like a lot for a cleanser when you can buy one at the drugstore for like five bucks but you need such a little amount. I've been using this for about a month now and look how deep, look how low it is. And I use this twice a day, but the fact is I only need like half a pump to do my whole face. I love it, I love it, I love it. And finally, let's talk moisturizer. You probably knew this was coming, but this is the Pharmacy Honey Halo Ultra Hydrating Ceramide Moisturizer. This is so good that it's almost gone for me. I love this so, so much. I feel like this moisturizer is the perfect blend of thick but not too thick because if something's really thick, I only wanna wear it at nighttime. But so many times daytime moisturizers or things marketed as daytime moisturizers are so thin that my skin doesn't feel like it's really hydrated enough. This is right in the middle. Like first of all, it smells like honey. It smells like honey. What more could you ask for except that it moisturizes your face because it's a moisturizer. I love everything about this. This has become my new daily go-to moisturizer. I have several others that I have opened that I've tried because I've gotten them in BoxyCharm or whatever, and I'll use them for a bit, but then I'm like, but I really just wanna use my Honey Halo. 
it's just beautiful and also i love again i love this packaging i love how it's a little hexagon not hexagon it's not an octagon hex is five. Oh, it is a hexagon a six-sided shape is a hexagon a five-sided shape is a pentagon that makes more sense okay so it's a hexagon honeycomb bees bee shit can you tell i like bees but it really is just a beautiful moisturizer all right, let's talk about what is personally going on my list. So as I mentioned, I am VIB, so I'm going to get 15% off of these if I choose to buy them. And I need you all to tell me your opinions down below of all of these items because I probably need to whittle this list down a little bit because I know that as soon as the sale comes up, it's gonna build up with other things that aren't even on this list. So help me whittle it down. Tell me what I absolutely need from this list and what I don't need. Put it all in the comments. I need your help. All right, I'm scooting over because I do not have these products yet because they're just on my wish list. So let's start with some lip products because everyone's wearing lip products and no one's wearing masks, right? But I wanna start with two liquid lipsticks. So a lot of you guys recommended this to me in my video where I decluttered my entire lipstick collection because I was looking for a few replacements and you recommended this to me. So I am curious about two of the Fenty Stunna lip paints. The first one is called Uncensored and it is red. It looks like a blue based red and it just looks beautiful. I've heard so many good things about it. And the other one is Uninvited and that is black. So I only had one black liquid lipstick and I didn't really love it. And I asked for your suggestions on a good black liquid lipstick and several of you recommended this one. So I'm really curious to pick these two up. I love how like I'm wearing this nude glossy situation and I'm talking about a matte black liquid lipstick. Okay, I need it in my collection. I need, need. So I mentioned that I bought the whole collection of these melt blushes, but set I just dropped my mirror. Several of the blushes from this collection were based off of powder blushes that Mel already had, and two of them were Honey Thief and Cali Dream. So I would like to buy the powder versions of both of these because I love both colors so much. They're really, really beautiful, and I would love to be able to layer them. And I know that these are two of their most popular colors, and I'm just curious. So if you've tried Melt Powder Blushes, like let me know down below if they are worth it because the colors are really beautiful to me and I would just be using them specifically for layering with these cream products. So let me know down below. So these next few, I am 100% calling out and blaming Kate from Kate the Great Beauty. This first one is the new Fenty Ease Drops Foundation. It is supposed to be a lighter coverage. It is supposed to be very comfortable and it's supposed to just be dewy and beautiful. Retails for $29. It looks stunning on her and I'm mad about it because I have enough foundations. I just recommended two foundations in this video and I have a lot of foundations. I just decluttered my foundations. Do I need another foundation? Hell no. Am I probably buying this one? <laughs> Hell yes. And then this is the big one. This is the one that I'm still on the fence about. This is the Fenty Body Sauce Luminizer. So this is expensive. This is $48, but it looked so beautiful on Kate. She has fully sold me on this. So she mainly applies it to her decote and it just looked so glowy and luminizing. And to be honest, during the summer, I wear a whole lot of like tank tops or scoop neck, things like that. And I feel like if it was applied here and a bit on my shoulders, it would look so beautiful. And I love the idea of applying a bunch of luminizer over, you know, my tattoos, because when those babies glow during summer, I feel a little bit next level, but $48 is the thing that's killing me a little bit. It's a little hard to stomach $48 for a body glow. Oh gosh, I don't know. What do you all think? What do you all think? Should I do it? I want to do it. I really want to do it. Should I do it? This next one is another kind of hard pill for me to swallow. But the thing is, if I have that discount, this is something I've always wanted to try. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Hot Lips Lipstick. And this shade is in Super Cindy. The reason that it's hard for me is because this retails for $34. But... I have heard so many wonderful things about Charlotte Tilbury quality for the bullet lipsticks. And to be honest, I love having a good bullet lipstick that is in my perfect shade of nude. And this looks pretty up my alley, this specific color. I love the undertones of it. I love the way it looks. And again, I've heard such great things about the quality that I'm thinking of biting the bullet, <laughs> the bullet, bullet lipstick. That's what that is. 
and just fucking doing it because I've wanted it for so long, but $34, again, that's so steep for a bullet lipstick when you can get something so much more inexpensive. So I don't know, I'm torn. <laughs> Then we have more lipstick. So this is the Patrick Ta Monochrome Moment Silky Lip Cream in She's Independent. This retails for $24. This looked beautiful when I saw it on a Jen Loves Reviews video. I think she's just Jen Loves now, forgive me. But it just looks like, again, that perfect nude and it's supposedly very comfortable and it looked so glossy and jutsy and I just, I just, need that. But I've never tried any Patrick Ta lip products. The only thing I've tried is the Major Brow Shaping Wax, which I love. I've never even tried the Blush Duos, which again, that's something that's been on my list for a while, but I think I'm still going to skip over it for now. But I'm really curious to try this too. So my list is, is building up. And then I have two body products. The first one is the Skin Fix Resurface Plus AHA Renewing Body Cream. This retails for $45, but I have seen a lot of reviews on this that it really helps with the bumps on the back of the arm. And I also have bumps on the tops of my thighs and I've heard it helps and does wonders with those. They also make a body wash that is similar. I might get both to be honest because I'm starting to get to the point where I'm convinced that this is gonna be my year to finally wear shorts and mini skirts and things like that because why not? because I'm not getting any younger and I need to start living my life now and not say, I'll wear those things. I'll wear those things when I lose 10 pounds. I'll wear them when my thighs tighten up a little bit. No bitch, those things need to see the sunlight, but I wouldn't mind if they were like slightly smoother and not like red bumpies when uh, the sun hits them. So I'm thinking of grabbing those too. If you've tried Skin Fix products, let me know down below if they're worth it because again, they are pricier. And finally, <laughs> You guys are gonna be so tired of me talking about this. This has been on my list for probably two years now and I still haven't purchased it. This is the Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Body Scrub. I love the Boom Boom Body Cream to an unhealthy degree, but especially in the summer months, I slather myself in that scent because it is so good. And again, I feel like a body scrub could maybe help with some of those bumps I have or any rough skin texture in general. And it has the bonus of I get out of the shower smelling like boom, boom cream. And then I layer on boom, boom cream. I am going to be boom, booming all over the goddamn country. Okay. But not really because we are still in a global pandemic. Wear your fucking mask. But that's it. Those are my recommendations for you and what I am thinking of picking up. I want you to let me know down below what you're thinking of picking up or if you have any other recommendations for me, because I do have some gift cards burning a hole in my pocket that I want to use. <laughs> I can't wait for the sale. My sale starts on April 13th. If you are Rouge, you start on the 9th, you lucky duck you. And I'm just, I'm just excited. It's been a while since I've done a good old Sephora haul. So there will be a Sephora haul video after this. But that's it. If you haven't yet, I would love if you'd give this video a thumbs up or consider subscribing and becoming a part of the fam. You all can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Those are all glitter fallout. And as always and forever, you are super freaking rock stars. And I love you so much with my whole, whole heart. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.